Hey everybody, what's going on? We are back in some Watcher of Realms, and today we are going to try to make some progress in Gear Raid 1 because my left side gear situation is dire. It is it is bad. <laughs> um, real bad. We're looking real bad over here. So I think we can do it. If we can farm Gear Raid 221, surely we can make a little bit of progress in Gear Raid 1, right? So uh, that's what we're going to do. And I did a little bit of snooping around on YouTube. And I found a, a, a setup that I think is going to work for me. So I want to give a shout out to uh, Cat Daddy Lurk <laughs> is the channel. Um, and the reason that's funny to me is because when I was really young, uh, probably like seven, eight, nine, my mom dated a guy. And he was like a cool old school dude. And his nickname for me was Cat Daddy. So every time I come around, he goes, what's up, Cat Daddy? So, <laughs> And we still laugh about that today. All these years later, 30 years later, it's still funny. Um, but yeah, shout out to that, to, to Cat Daddy Lurk. Go, go, go check out that channel and give them some love. Um, this is what we're going with. We're, we're I don't have Raiden built, but I don't think I need Raiden built. I'm, he's just here for the leader for Comet. So we're going to kind of do a Laurel strat here. Obviously we have Lassier because Lassier is borderline mandatory, I think, for this. Um, I, I, I kind of think that's the case. If you don't have him, I think you, you are just SOL. But we're gonna see if we can't get through this today. Uh, it might take us a little bit of trial and error. We might have to make a few adjustments here and there, but I think I think we're gonna be all right. So we're gonna give it a go and see how far we can get. I had to get my Laurel sorted. I had to farm her some mats up to get her to five, uh, to promotion five, so she could actually do the thing that I need her to do here. So we are gonna pop ults. And then we're going to actually wait, should I drop? No, I can't. Let's drop her. Pick her right back up. And then let's see her is going right here. And then next, I think we need a healer over here. And then Hollow is going to go behind Lassier. And we're going to be fine. Now, I think in a perfect world, Comet kills all of them before the heals start coming out. But I think we're going to be all right. I think it's okay. I guess we'll go ahead and ult with him now. I can't remember when I'm supposed to ult with him. I'm, we might have to reference it. He's going to go behind him to help him out. And then... All right, so I think I probably should have saved Lassier's ult. For now, I think I think I should have saved it maybe for now. I might be out of rhythm here with with bolts. We'll 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 get it sorted. All right, we can drop someone else to help out while we're waiting on Laurel to be ready again. So we'll bolt bolt. We'll bring her back. Her, bring her back and then again I don't have any gear on this guy so it's, I don't even know that it's going to do us any good to have him in but I'll drop him yeah he just got he just got taken out so we're we're, we're out of rhythm here it seems like with Lassier but again maybe we just get him out when we get him out I feel like I want to time their ults together though either way she can help him get his ult back here be nice if I could get Verna in here, but I have to sacrifice my leader skill or and I or Volca, and I think Volca's doing us some good here as well. So I don't know if I want to not have Volca. I think she's making Laurel be available again sooner, right? All right, our wall's about down, so that's that's an issue. Our timing on the act on the ult. 
So we pop, we pop their ult. And then we do the Laurel thing. And then the Seer does go down. And then when do we ult with him? That's, that's the tricky thing. Do we just ult as when he gets it? No. Yeah, so I need... I need to ult with all three of them. Okay. All right, let's give it another go. Let's give it another go here. It is possible that my combat is not doing enough damage. That is also something to consider, perhaps. When he gets ready to ult, Now we will hang on to his ult until the next time we ult with them, and then I think that'll be the rhythm from there. I believe that's how that's gonna go. Oh, and then we need to drop him. And then Hollow goes down. He gets ready. All right. Now I think we're on a little bit of a decent rhythm here. And then I think I'm going to ult with her to again help him get his ult back quicker. Right? I believe that's what we're doing. Wrath can go ahead and go here. Yeah. Let's see her. Now, again, do I want to... What was that? I think I did. Go ahead and drop Volta. We're going to pull Volta back. Bother dropping Raiden because he's not going to do us any good. Now, again, it's seeming like my rhythm might be off here, but I don't know. That might have something to do with Lassier's setup. You know? damage out of Comet. I think Comet needs to be able to clear a little bit better. I might have to let him borrow like Verna's gear or something. I might have to just move move a set over to him. I think that's ultimately our issue. Yeah, he's not very well geared. I mean, he's not terrible, actually. I saw the gold gear. He's not awful, but he's no Verna. So I think that's probably what we'll do. So let's let's just let them borrow gear for a second and see if that does him any good. Because I, I really do think if he's doing more damage, this, this goes a bit differently. What are you doing with your leader? It's just a 10% bump in stats, right? Would it be worth having Oh, I don't know. Reduce faction ally skill cost by 15% is also probably pretty nice. Okay, let's give it a go. I imagine we'll see a noticeable difference in what Comet's doing here. Let's 
here, goes down. Vortex will go down next. And we'll ult together next time with all of them. And I, I ulted with him. I swear I did. I swear I hit that ult, dude. I guess we'll bop, bop that. Charge him back up. Again. We are we are clearing a bit better here. Um, it's definitely doing more work for us. So now what we'll do is we'll again we'll drop Volca just to help out a bit until time. need to wait on comet I don't even know if it matters if I face her in, in a certain direction I'm just doing it It's looking better. It is looking better. Who died? Wait. The, oh, did I accidentally pick up Vortex? Ed Gummit. I think I accidentally, pick, accidentally picked up Vortex. I know he didn't die. I'm pretty sure he didn't die. I must have picked him up. All right, we have to be sure we're picking up Laurel from now on. <laughs> All right, you go there. It's so much to watch, dude. Bam, bam, bam. Bam. Vortex hollow. Next. Yeah, comment out here putting in work. Vortex. Catch up, comment. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. That is Laurel. Okay. A little late getting her down, actually. I think she should have gone down before Wrath. But we'll see if it matters a ton. I think it's going to matter. Because I needed to ult with her sooner to get him ready to ult. But again, maybe it'll be all right. Maybe I didn't need to ult with her there. I feel like they would have hit ult about the same time anyway. Still clearing pretty well here. Shame I didn't get her down sooner. I feel like she could be in a better rhythm here, but it's working out at the moment. I'm not going to ult with her because they're going to hit ult about the same time anyway. Lucia's actually going to beat him anyway, so we're going to save her. 
or after he ults. So... Laurel, it is Laurel, and then you can drop down and help. I'll do that because why not? And then I reckon I should probably ult with him again. I think now I should just pop ult, right? Oh, maybe not. Maybe he is still going to do that thing. I didn't realize. Never been this far in the fight, so. Okay. Almost time to ult. Come on, come on, come on, come on. This is where it would be really helpful to have Raiden built, because he could be helping with damage here. We're cutting it close. Now I should have probably ulted with her ult, but I'm trying to get every little bit of damage out I can before they break this wall. I think we can do this. I think if we get a, a little bit of a better rhythm here, we can do this. Like, we're pretty close anyway. If Lassier can... We, we might. Ooh, ooh, come on, Wrath. Hang on. No. No. Close, though. Is Volka going to tank it for us? How wild would that be? I think we got it. Unless he sneaks in a one shot, she's seeming like she can tank that big hit and he's seeming like he can heal her back up. It's not the prettiest run, but it worked. We did get through it. And I reckon with Power of Dominance, it'll be a much cleaner run. GG. Let's go, baby. Let's go. <clears throat> now we can probably speed that up again. Also, what I'm interested to see I, it, it, is if power of Dominic's, Dominic's, dominance makes the difference
when I swap their gear back. Now let's see if we can still do it. Let's see if they can do it on auto with his old gear, but power of dominance in the mix. Because I think just being able to farm 19, I mean, it's, it's, you know, it gives us access to that better gear and then we can work on making progress as we go. So far, so good. Looking like it's going to be a clean run here. Again, there's probably some stuff I could have timed a little better. progress with the risk of losing. Why does it say that? Interesting. Is that is that because of Comet's gear? Let's move the gear back and try it again and see what the what the difference maker is there. Is it really his gear? I thought power of dominance would have helped him. Alright, so you gear I mean, if, if worst case scenario, I have to move their gear back and forth when I farm. You know what I mean? Like, not the end of the world. Let's see if that really is that big of a difference, even with power of dominance. <laughs> Look different. Or... So I made a video a minute ago. It's like a three minute long video and Premiere Pro took like over 20 minutes to export it. And I'm not sure why. I have no idea why. That's what I'm, I'm looking at now. No idea what, what the deal is with that. Okay, yeah, this is significantly different looking than Okay, so that's what we'll have to do. In the meantime, we'll, we'll work on getting Comet to a place where he doesn't need her gear. I just have to make sure I remember to swap their gear back and forth uh, when I'm doing different things with them. Because she's part of Gear Raid 2. Um, so, yeah. Now, I guess I guess an interesting thought is, can we do Gear Raid 20? If we, is it like, is it the same? Does anything change at 20? Is it the same map and stuff? It is. I guess there's no reason not to try to do it. You know what I mean? We'll find out. <laughs> we'll find out how possible it is. <laughs> Gonna learn today. Try to... I think I think the thing with Hollow is I don't want... I want to only ult right after I ult with Lassier. I think that's the, the kicker with her. So we'll drop you. 
Oh. 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 Let's see here. I assume it's the same strategy. We're, we're, we're going to try the same strategy and see how it goes. Then Vortex, then Hollow. And Hollow needs to go down quick. And then I need her to bolt. Basically right after Lassier to help him get back. We didn't clear them, which is, I think, kind of a problem. So, we will... Still gonna beat Comet there. So do I ult with him now? at like my rage regen or, or something feels like we're just off there's just not a good rhythm here to these ults that's that's not enough wall okay so we we there's some things that need Attention, perhaps we might have to look a little bit more into the way that these champs are set up again uh, we we uh, we quick equipped a couple of them i think a uh, ai and um maybe even lasir was quick equipped so we can go in and, and rework their gear and see if maybe we can't progress a little bit further uh relatively soon but we got gear raid 119 down which i think is still big for us right we can still get Start getting this gear now. So um, we'll probably grind that out a bit today, just cause I am I am low on resources. But we may perhaps blow a few gems on some energy and and do some gear raid one farming today and see if it changes anything for us. And I guess our goal now is to get Comet to a point where he does not need to borrow Virna's gear to do stuff that I need him to do. I guess that's kind of a priority at the moment because I really would like to avoid moving gear around like that super often. But also, it's easy enough to do, man. That's that, that the, the way they've implemented that is really nice. It doesn't cost us anything, and it's an easy swap. So, you know, maybe we just work on getting a, a handful of core sets of gear that we can move around and do different things with. So, I don't know. Anyway, that's it. I'm getting out of here. Feels good to have a little success. Uh, again, shout out to uh, to Cat Daddy Lurk for the guide, um, and we'll see you tomorrow. With I don't know, I don't know what we're gonna work on tomorrow, but I'll I'll, I'll see you then. All right, later.